We had to. We want to take a quick look back at a story. We just talked to you some about this story last week, and that's the Ghislaine Maxwell story. But we've got some new developments. Now, you'll remember she was just convicted of sex trafficking of minors and four other related similar charges. It looks like the maximum uh, in prison she could face is 40 years. Now, if they ran the charges, the, the sentences concurrently, it could be longer than that. Um, but, uh, or, or excuse me, consecutively, it could be longer than that. If they run them concurrently, the longest she could face is 40 years on the sex trafficking of minors charge. Uh, and we'll see what the sentencing actually comes out to be. But there's some interesting developments because, you know, you probably don't know this because, of course, the media, boy, this is a story the media doesn't talk about, right? And you need to be watching for Ghislaine to commit suicide in jail now suddenly, uh, and, of course, we'll put on round quotes, unexpectedly, right? You need to be watching for that because she's now saying she's no longer going to maintain her objections to revealing the name of eight people for who, for some reason, the court has sealed the records on who these eight people are. And this is in a civil lawsuit, not in the criminal lawsuit. But she's maintained this objection to revealing these eight John Doe's that were apparently very involved with Epstein and a lot of allegations that these eight men uh, had some uh, doings with some of these underage women that Epstein was so famous for purveying to the powerful and the political elites. And we don't know who those people are. It's come up in the uh, Prince Andrew case that's pending in New York, which his motion to dismiss the case just got denied, interestingly, last week. Uh, And so he is going to have to go to trial uh, probably on that case unless there's a summary judgment, which is highly unlikely. And, of course, that's a case brought by Virginia Giffray against him, saying that he abused her when she was underage. And, of course, you got that famous picture that so many of us have seen with Prince Andrew with his arm around the waist of Virginia Giffray. And Ghislaine Maxwell is standing in the background with kind of a Cheshire cat smile on her face. And we don't know who took that picture. I always kind of wondered who took that picture. Is that Jeffrey Epstein behind the camera? And was that one of those pictures that he could use for blackmail purposes against some of these powerful people? And, of course, that's the allegation that he was running a sophisticated blackmail ring to entrap politicians and rich men and get them uh, essentially get himself on their payroll. So we're going to hopefully find out some more about that. We'll find out who the eight John Doe's are who have yet to be revealed. If Ghislaine Maxwell makes it long enough to tell us who they are. One other small development in that case. You know, it's interesting. The king, uh, the queen of England has just about completely disavowed uh, her son, Prince Andrew. Queen Elizabeth has And last week, she stripped him of his military titles, and as Buckingham Palace would put it, with the Queen's approval and agreement. Well, believe me, if it's with the Queen's approval and agreement, she said it was to happen. Uh, The Duke of York's military affiliations and royal patronages have been returned to the Queen. The Duke of York will continue not to undertake any public duties and is defending the case as a private citizen. So essentially... The monarchy's disavowed Prince Andrew, and, you know, one has to wonder, after you saw that interview of him, that kind of famous interview where he talked about how it couldn't possibly have been him because Virginia Roberts Giffray said that he was sweating, and, of course, he has a, a complete physical inability to sweat. And then, of course, the pictures came out showing him sweating and other things that just kind of, you know. And, and by the way, his lawyers have now admitted they have zero evidence that he has the inability to sweat. So, uh, you know, I would just, like that. That medical condition, I think. You would like, you, well, of course, right? who wouldn't want that medical condition? She sweats. <laughs> yes. No, she glistens, Pat George. She glistens occasionally. That's what we like to call it. Yeah. So, all right. So some interesting things will be developing. Of course, you won't see that on any of the mainstream media because they don't cover that story. And doesn't that make you wonder why they don't cover that story? Thank you for listening to The Morgan Streetman Show. We hope you enjoyed what you heard, and if you did, please click like and subscribe to help us out. And remember that we recommend that you exercise your brain at least once a week.